Hello, and thank you for your interest in the Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences program at Seminole State College of Florida. My name is Dr. Debbie Fahey, and I am the program manager for this program. My contact information is located on the last slide of this presentation. So if you would like to get out a sheet of paper and something to write with as we're talking about um, each of the different programs that fall under the Bachelor of Science and Health Sciences uh, degree, you will be able to write down questions that you might have, and then you'll be able to email them to me for uh, clarification. We have a mixture type of student here um, who, um, like any typical college, um, students who recently graduated high school up to adult learners, and some of the students are already in their healthcare careers, but they are hoping to change their particular healthcare role or they're hoping to advance in their career by obtaining their bachelor's degree. And we have a large majority of students who have completed their associate's degree and they're interested in one of our six interdisciplinary specialty tracks and they are rounding out their education uh, by uh, completing the core courses and then moving on into their specialty courses. So there's something here for everybody. There is a never-ending growing demand for healthcare practitioners in Florida and in fact this program was developed with direct input from over 50 Central Florida healthcare organizations. And as I move to the next slide, um, there's a listing of the six specialty tracks offered under this program, and I'm going to spend a few minutes telling you about each one of the tracks. So this is a listing of the six uh, specialty tracks within the program. This program is actually called an interdisciplinary completion program, which means all six tracks complete the same core courses, but uh, depending on which track you have chosen, you will complete specialty classes that uh, help you become specialized in a particular um, area. So if we look at the respiratory therapy and clinical leadership track, once you complete your associate's degree in respiratory therapy, um, that makes you eligible for the National Board of Respiratory Therapy credentialing. And we can't uh, understate the value of respiratory therapists uh, right now. By gaining a, a BS degree in clinical leadership, um, this is going to provide you with a deeper understanding of healthcare operations, economics, leadership, health information management, ethics, and research methods. Health coaching and human performance. This is one of the most fast, fastest growing areas in healthcare right now. Um, there is, there has become an emerging demand for wellness professionals. We've learned that in healthcare that wellness is an investment uh, in decreasing healthcare cost. So it's about preventive uh, medicine versus um, reactive medicine. So these are the coaches um, who um, coach people into um, maintaining wellness and managing their chronic diseases. Uh, some of the human performance type of positions you could be in would be something like a um, physical therapist or um, a personal trainer. Healthcare management and professional services, these provide, this program provides career advancement opportunities for current health professional practitioners, as well as uh, individuals that are seeking a future career in healthcare. It's also known as healthcare administrators. Uh, these administrators plan, direct, coordinate medical and health services, and they manage medical groups. Um, some of the places that you could work in, in under this degree would be in healthcare facilities, 
hospitals, nursing homes, insurance providers. Um, you can work in health-related sales and services. Simulation in healthcare education. This prepares uh, individuals for a career in the growing field of education simulation. Simulation is one of the vital educational services that is offered to healthcare students, residents, nursing, uh, and healthcare staff because simulation provides a psychologically safe and supportive learning environment in which to learn new skills. Community Paramedic uh, introduces career options for future and current emergency medicine specialists. Florida certified paramedics have the opportunity to further expand their expertise in advanced paramedic practice with this specialty track. And as we know, uh, community paramedics are responsible really for improving our community health by reducing costs and keeping people out of emergency rooms as much as possible. And then finally, the sixth track is the clinical science track, and this is for pre-professionals who want to pursue a career in the health provider role. So why choose a healthcare career? And the answer is quite simply because it opens up a world of possibilities for you um, if you are interested in healthcare. It's not just about being a nurse and a doctor anymore. And I listed a few of the possibilities that you can move into um, that just came to mind right away. You could work in phar pharmaceutical or medical sales. You could be a pharmacy tech. You can be in healthcare administration, healthcare management, or healthcare finance. You can become a health coach or a physical therapist, a respiratory therapist. You can work in a medical lab. You can work with data informatics or information technology within a healthcare organization. You can be involved in research. You can be a personal trainer. You could work in a health insurance company. And you could work in nutrition or dietetics. And these are just a few of the possibilities that are open to you when you move into healthcare. Um, and just to give you a little idea about my background, I am a associate's degree nurse, which means I graduated from an associate's degree in nursing program and I became a bedside nurse. And I went back to school and got a bachelor's degree in nursing, which allowed me to change my role from bedside nursing to management, and I became a charge nurse and then a nursing supervisor. I also always knew in the back of my mind that I wanted to be in education, and uh, in order to make that move, I knew I had to go on to school, and I got a master's, of, uh, master's degree in nursing and a, did a specialty track in the family nurse practitioner program. So I allowed myself to move into clinical practice while also pursuing teaching uh, nursing. And then eventually, um, I went back to school and got my doctorate degree of nursing practice, um, which is my terminal degree for my program. But as you can see, I, uh, because of education, I was able to move into different parts of um, different roles within the healthcare system, um, which uh, is so important uh, for your career um, advancement. So how does one get started on the path to a healthcare profession? And it's all done quite easily within three small steps. You get an associate's degree, um, which gives you a general list curriculum. And then you can move into a bachelor's degree program um, where you get um, in the bachelor's of science health sciences program at Seminole State, you get interdisciplinary core curriculum, uh, which means that all six specialty tracks offer the same core uh, curriculum. 
And, you know, when you have an interdisciplinary core curriculum pathway, those types of classes allow you to um, collaborate uh, and work with different healthcare disciplines, and um, which is really what healthcare is all about um, today. And then you move into your specialty curriculum, and there are specialty elective courses that help expand your expertise in your chosen area of study. So if you are passionate about working with people, have good interpersonal skills, you're self-motivated, you're a problem solver, you're detail-oriented, and you respect other, others, you come to the right place to pursue the right profession. Um, at the top of this slide is the um, address for your access to the catalog and you will be able to review each of the programs um, that I talked about today and look at uh, the courses that are offered under each of the program. Other additional website information available to you I've provided on this uh, particular slide too. And just remember that a career uh, in a healthcare profession allows you to work in many, many, many different types of healthcare settings as well. I don't think I've talked about that very much, but you can work in hospital systems, um, medical office systems, clinical systems, medical groups, work for nonprofit organizations, you can work for the government. You can work in physician's office, private businesses, and just like career possibilities, the possibilities of what type of environment you can work in is also limitless. And finally, on the last slide is my email address located on the left-hand side of the slide, your left-hand side of the slide. And Please feel free to email me with any questions that you have for clarification. On the right-hand side is the email address for Ms. Ricky Herrera, who is the Master Program Specialist slash Advisor, and she would be more than willing to answer any questions that you might have as well. And that concludes the information that I have for you today on the Bachelor of Science Health Sciences program, and I hope that I will be seeing you soon.